Okay, so this week we are going to, the assignment is to write to one of your congressional representatives. And why is that important? Well, in the preamble to the Constitution of the United States, it talks about the government was instituted to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure tr domestic tranquility. And what's that? It's peace, it's happiness. Um, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessing of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. And so then it launches into Article 1, straight from the preamble, which says that um, all legislative powers have been granted to the Congress. And so why is that important? It's important because those are the people writing law and they touch every part of our lives. So it's really important to see involved what, what bills are before the Congress. Who are your representatives? What do they stand for? What do they vote for? Do you agree with that? And you need to remember they're paid with taxpayer money. They work for you. So you need to have input. If you disagree, it would be no different than if your supervisor at work disagreed with the way you do your job, they would talk to you about it. If your supervisor at work wanted you to, you know, take on more duties or look at something different, they would talk to you about it. So writing to our Congress people is how we talk to them. And there are websites for the House of Representatives and the Senate that will take you straight to your own personal representatives. You can also write to state representatives, um, but your assignment, you're going to have to post. So when you email your representatives, then they send an email back to you saying that they've received or thank you for writing or whatever it is. And that's what you're gonna upload for your assignment. So you don't have to share with me your personal concerns that you send to your, um, that you send to your representatives. But also, um, I just wanted to put in a word from Abraham Lincoln at the end of his Gettysburg Address. He says, this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that the government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. So how do we ensure that happens? It's by paying attention to what our government is doing. It's by communicating with the elected representatives of our government and communicating often. We have a gentleman in, in our community who attends um, the local county commissioner's meetings. He pays attention to all the bills that are going on in the uh, Colorado legislature. And then he just for free of his own volition sends an email about once a week. And it's such a service because it keeps us up to date on what's going on and at least his perspective of it. And so that's kind of a lazy way for me to stay up to date, but it's really important to read news and from multiple sources because everybody has their own bent. It's important to pay attention. What what important things are they considering? You know, are your taxes going up or down? Is our national defense being taken seriously and provided for? You need to really pay attention and how you let your Congress people, your governor, your state representatives, how you let them know you're paying attention is to write to them. And in this information age, it's so easy to just email them. So let me know if you have questions. I'm gonna link the House and Senate Find My Representative websites in the um, announcement, the class announcement for this week, and I wish you a great week. Thanks.